Alright ladies and gentlemen, boys and gals, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. First and foremost, I know you guys are probably tripping on my hair. I know a lot of you guys probably do not like my hair, myself included, but uh, I'm in the process of getting my hair dreaded. So in order for a white person to get their hair dreaded, I have to have box braids for two weeks. Then she takes them out, then she crochets them, and bam, then there's dreads. So please keep the comments to yourself. I don't like the hair either. It's something that I have to rock and shock for two weeks. And then we will be on to the next thing, all right? So today's video is going to be our week 13 pickups, I believe. It was the water shorts, track pants, uh, chicken dinner ashtray, hair bobbles, some arc tops, some stuff like that. We're going to show you everything that we copped. We did a pickup video last week, pickup video this week, none in between. So, you know, baby steps here. Hopefully this week I can try to get a couple like different videos out to you guys, not just pickup videos, man. Shout out to all the homies that's supporting. Prim Population hoodies drop today. So if you guys want to buy a Prim Population hoodie, there's a lot of people who support the channel and support preem population but don't always enter raffles which is perfectly 100% fine. This is another avenue that you can show support and you can represent without gambling your money. So if you would like to do that, go to preem population on Instagram. It's on the story right now, the link. It's a pre-order. You can buy one for your homie, one for your mom, one for your dad. You can buy as many as you want and uh, we're going to collect all the orders. We're going to get them printed and then we're going to ship them out. Everybody that supports preem population and makes it what it is. Thank you guys very much. I love you and appreciate you all. All right, so let's get into this video I did not get the denim jacket that dropped it was in there all day. I just didn't buy it It was $400. I stayed away from it There was a couple other things that I just did not grab for the sole purpose that I didn't want it for my collection And it wouldn't do too hot on the page. So we have one two three for five different items, two of them being accessories, the arc top, the pants, and the shorts. So without further ado, let's get it cracking. We will start with the arc tops. I got a couple different colors, and honestly, I really did like these tops. $78, Supreme always does tops like these, and these are really, really cool. So here's the gray one right here. It is a nice, thicker material. It is not t-shirt material. It is nice, thick, cut and sewn t-shirt, and then you have extremely large branding on this whole t-shirt. It starts up here, actually, on your sleeve, goes all the way across your chest and your nips down to your waistline right here so this gray one had like a purple and like an aqua blue vibe to it which was really really cool and then there was a couple other colors right here we have a black one right here which this was Duva's favorite color uh, my personal favorite is the one coming next but I can't lie this one is clean as hell as well so you got black and then you got like this gradient gray black and then red on the outline which is super cool all the way across all the way up to your shoulder you are rocking in shocking and representing what you love most this is the color that did it for me and it is the aqua blue or the teal or whatever you want to call it dude I think this blue with this orange looks very very good this is a size large I bought it in my size not sure if I'm gonna keep it I'm probably gonna end up doing like winter picks the color and then if somebody snatches it up you know it is what it is I have a bin downstairs full of like 500 t-shirts that I've never ever even worn so I really do not need to keep this but this was my favorite color and I did enjoy Enjoy this top. Uh, it was a good top that dropped this week and throughout the whole season as well. So that is the only article of clothing on the top half of your body that we grabbed. Let me know what you guys thought about those, what colors you grabbed, so on and so forth. Let's move on to the warm-up pants. Now, blue camo was the hitter. That was the color. That was the pattern to go after this week. I knew they were going to be extremely limited. Uh, the Brooklyn camo last year was a disaster in store. I think maybe there was four pairs or five pairs of Brooklyn camo, no size smalls, and it was impossible to get. I knew the blue camo didn't have hype like that, but uh, I knew it was still going to be tough to get, and I did not end up getting my hands on it. Sometimes that's the way it goes, man. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Sometimes you get the things you want, and sometimes you don't. I'm not going to cry over it, not the end of the world. There was some cool other colors that I'll show you guys right here. You know, I try to do my best to grab those hype things and the things that, you know, people in my my community like and one and uh, you know sometimes we come up short so but I will show you my favorite color of them right here which is the gray ones this is like a nice I don't even know what you would call this or what the labeled color is gray but honestly it's like a strong ash gray and these things are really really sick these are size small I got these for Alexandra dude so these are super sick I think out of all the colors this was mine and hers favorite color and uh, it's you know something a little bit different they don't usually do track pants or pants in this dark 
dark gray, like almost like ashy gray, sky gray color. And uh, this is really sick. The branding is down at the bottom. If you guys are unfamiliar with these pants, they drop these almost every single season. They just mix up the colors and add a few different colors each season. This is down on your ankle where it splits, uh, you know, so you can leave them open wide or, you know, keep them tight. And uh, that is where the branding is, dude. So that was the gray one. And there's a couple other colors right here, which are the pale yellow, which I thought were cool as well. I like the colors that, you know, they have not done in the past and things that are new. You know, the red ones, extremely hard, but they do a lot of red. The black, of course, is cool. Olive, you know, those are colors that you see them repeat a lot, whether it be with pants, shorts, or whatever. And uh, so when they do a little bit of a different colors, I tend to gravitate towards them. Here's the line. These are size XL. These were the last pair that I got in store. Uh, I just wanted to get these and bring these home and show these on the video as well. So here's the branding on the pale yellow or the lime ones. You know, a little bit harder to see, but you know, it's not always about the branding. These pants are extremely comfortable. They're nice track pants and you know, they're good lounge pants. For 128 bucks, it's really not bad if you can grab them at a retail price. So there was the pale yellow and my second favorite color, which was the purple. Man, these things are super cool and super loud. Not sure what I would rock these with. Maybe a black hoodie or a black t-shirt and uh, I'd have to be feeling some type of way to pull these out and rock and shock these size medium but these were a sick color as well it's a very deep deep violet purple and then the branding comes right off of these with the white supreme down at your leg and man these are sick for sure so I was able to grab a couple pairs and I was spot number 80 dude number 80 I literally got a text you are 80th in line dude I got no colored shorts I have colored shorts to show you guys but me going in there I got no colored shorts and I got no camo track pants number 80 dude if you get a text and you're 80 that's like yes dude I'm in there number 80 what's up I'm getting it that's what I always tell people on print population on live video people that do not go to stores you guys do not understand how limited some of this stuff is and some of the prices that are being put up for resale prices they just people don't understand the quantity in store if everybody online realized that there was literally 30 pairs of blue water shorts inside the store dude the price should be way higher than it is but you know it is what it is I was 80 I got black water shorts and size small gray track pants you know blessings I'm not complaining at all it's just crazy man if you literally don't get a top 30 spot in the store that hyped item it's a wrap dude and most of the time you know there's those accessories that are in there and then gone and then those couple clothing items each week where it's like yo I need that that's the hot item if you're not number 30 or above it's a wrap uh, you're not getting it dude so here are the water shorts and these things are cool man I'm not gonna lie uh, I like the simple water shorts that they do with just the box logo at the bottom but these a little louder ones are uh, definitely cool I'll show the black ones first which are right here so this is the front the front is blank uh, no box logo no sewn on patch no nothing Flip and dip, shout out to Paul Can too. And here's the back. So you got arc on both sides of your butt cheeks, and it does say Supreme. So the black has white writing, it's got a line under it, you know, whoop de whoop, yada yada. The black ones are cool, you know, for the summertime, the river, the ocean, whatever. Uh, I can't lie, these things are super sick. So the two colors that I got were blue and red, and uh, they are as follows, dude. So here's the blue ones. All of them, I believe, have white writing on them, uh, you know, which is cool. I wish they would have switched it up a little bit and like changed the letter colors a little bit but these things are sick dude last year's water shorts were the Gucci split ones which were extremely fire and those things were going and are still going for a bunch of money uh, so these don't really compare to those but they are sick dude so here's the blue ones it's like a deep royal blue it's got the writing all the way across it these are doing fairly well online and then last but not least is the pair of red ones actually the yellow is going for the most amount of money which I'm surprised about didn't get yellow didn't get green but you know count your blessings we got Got three out of the five colors you know nothing to complain about there red is probably my favorite color out of all of them that I got I would have liked to get the yellow ones for video purposes and preem population but uh, the red and the blue are gonna have to do dude so same thing writing and the line under it all of them have white letters and these things are sick the fronts blank and uh, you can get some people staring at your ass cheek all right last but not least we are gonna get into the two accessories that drop this box right here is the box for the hair bobbles this is exactly what it 
it looks like. And right here is the box for the ashtray. So these hair bobbles are pretty cool. They were $38, which honestly was a little bit more than I thought that they were going to be. I thought maybe they'd be at like $16 or $18, but it is a set of two and this thing is cool. So the box is like a little jewelry box, which is cool. Uh, even if you don't like the hair bobbles or use the hair bobbles, you can like grab this little box and then use it for like your other jewelry. Take the bobbles out, throw them away, do whatever you want, give them to your little sister. And then you can use this box like for your necklaces and other stuff like that. At least that's what I'm going to do with it. So you pour them out and here's the hair bobbles right here. And uh, they just come in two little separate bags like this. The box logo is floating inside of these hair bobbles. And then it's just got like, uh, you know, like a little hair tie tied between both of them. I am not 100% sure how to use these. These are more for like obviously females who that's why there's like a pack of two because they have like pigtails and then you tie them up. But as soon as I get my dreads done, I'm definitely going to use these uh, to tie up the dreads and these things are cool. You know, again, a little bit more expensive at 38 bucks. But uh, again, it is a set of two and then, uh, you know, the box and all that, you take them like 15 bucks each. Nothing wrong with that, dude. So those were the hair bobbles and the box that they came in were extremely cool as well. These are dropping everywhere. And uh, now we will get onto the ashtray. I was very excited about this ashtray. I like collecting the ashtrays uh, since a couple seasons back. And this one has a nice 80s vibe to it, a nice old school vibe. And uh, it's pretty sick. So it comes in bubble wrap like this. You pull it out and it is a nice sized ashtray dude so this is six and a half by four and a half on the back it says supreme mfg and then it's got the chicken dinner uh little action on the front right here dude so you got your green beans your biscuit mashed potatoes chicken and then some kind of sweet potato or butter or something like that on the side the homie always uses ashtrays and uh, he already sent me a picture of you know him ashing on this with his blunt and i thought it was pretty cool uh, i probably won't use it for my cigarette ash because that's just nasty and i put it out on there but uh, I'll probably just put some coins in it or even put your jewelry in here or yada yada whoop de whoop whatever you want to use it for but the size is very nice I thought it was good for 38 bucks I grabbed a bunch of these I think I copped 20 of these yesterday at Supreme you know these are always good to have and throw in 10 by 10s winter picks yada yada and uh, here it is dude so that's it for the video uh, hair bobbles uh, you know ashtray pants shorts and a couple tops nothing too crazy but I did want to make the video show you guys what we cop get your guys' opinions. Let me know in the comments what you guys cop, what your favorite color shorts were, favorite color pants. If you got Brooklyn, or I mean, I, I keep saying Brooklyn, dude. If you got blue camo pants or uh, any color water shorts or what you guys thought about the week and uh, what you guys are expecting in the near future. We are getting into week 14, 15, 16, 17, and we are on the butt end of the season, dude. You guys are going to see some big accessories dropping very, very soon. The hatchet's going to drop soon. The kayak, the pinball machine, the life vest, and uh, we're going to see anti-hero very soon. We're going to see Levi's very soon. We are going to see some crazy things within the next month, 100%, dude. So let me know what you guys are most excited about. Me personally, I am most excited for anti-hero and the life vest, but let me know what you guys are thinking and how you guys are feeling, man. I appreciate you guys and love you all. Everybody showing support. Make sure to go check out Preem Population and cop you guys a hoodie. The screen print is 100% legit. I have the best screen printer, dude. And the hoodies are very nice, thick, not gilding, not triple A hoodies. They're very nice. Make sure you guys go scope them out and cop one. And, uh, you know, support the homies and everybody who does that. I appreciate you and love you guys. All right. We'll see you guys. Hopefully I can get back on track here and maybe post another video or two within the next couple days. And we'll catch you then. All right. All the homies love you. Appreciate you all. Sleepy. I'm out of here. Deuces.